Welcome back to Grizz Vision right here on Grizz TV. My name is Neil Rule. Today we're joined by the Director of Athletics here at Oakland, Jeff Konya. Thanks a lot for the time, Jeff, and the news has broken. National televised exposure here for Oakland University. When you look at this schedule, six games on national TV networks in terms of ESPN, and look, exposure for the university, exposure for the program. This is what you had in mind when you talked about the process. You said, wear the bear, see the bear, be the bear. Well, people are gonna see the bear across the country this year. Yeah, 20% of our uh, games are gonna be on uh, linear ESPN, which is ESPN, ESPN U, or ESPN2. Uh, we're very fortunate um, to have that opportunity, and now it's, it's up to the team and, and up to us to put our best foot forward. Uh, three of those games are at home, uh, which I think is a record for, for Oakland University. And uh, we're really looking forward to this year and this team and what we're able to do. When you look at the schedule as a whole, we talked about the number of games that are on. A chance for the Grizz Gang, a chance for Oakland University, a, a chance for the department as a whole, the entire university, something to really get behind. This will bring a level of viewership and exposure that the university, I mean, you can't buy this type of exposure. You could, it might cost a lot, <laughs> but uh, uh, no, you're right. I mean, we. From the first day when we met with the student organizations and, and told them to help us in the process of investing in our product and the elements that they can control and, and what a great job that our band and our spirit and cheer and dance do and, and our fans and to, for them to be engaged and you know establishing rivalries uh, and these kind of things have really led to uh, an opportunity to get visible and get our, our brand out and, and for you know, I, I don't think it's by happenstance that this has happened. Um, I do think that when, when folks see Oakland University or exposed to it uh, and the energy and the crowd and that environment um, you know, speaks to people and I think it comes off well on television. And with some of the improvements we've made this year relative to the, the look of the court being very unique in the marketplace, uh, the investment with a superior lighting system, a professional lighting system, uh, and with our sound enhancements. You know, we're, we're really going to relish this opportunity, but we're really going to be able to showcase all the good that we have to offer. And hopefully this is just a tipping point to say, you know, this is, we've arrived and, and we need more of these kind of opportunities. That was something that was important to you, and you've stressed that from day one when you walked on the scene here at Oakland. The game day experience, everything that goes on at the game. That plays a part in all this, doesn't it? You talked about the lighting, you talked about the court, but those are all the things. When you package it all together, it's going to make for one heck of a game day experience. It is, and this is where we really need to rely on you know, our fans and uh, the, the community at large to uh, you know, be vocal and, and be boisterous and, and to have pride and, and wear the bear and, and really to be a bear. I mean, to, to be loud and, and proud uh, during these opportunities uh, on television because as you know uh, you can pick up on energy energy is transferable and so what's happening on the court what's happening in the stands is transferable and and if you can you know transcend the the television or the computer uh, tablet or the phone whatever the case may be uh, you know folks are going to get a sense about what game day is like here at Oakland and that's something that quite frankly we're very proud of your relationship here at Oakland with the Horizon League. I mean, this has been at the forefront, and the Horizon League has been hand in hand with Oakland. Their relationship with ESPN really has helped this university turn a corner in terms of national exposure. And again, you're bearing the fruits of that labor now. The Horizon League and Oakland have been tremendous partners. Well, the Horizon League was on the cutting edge of all of this, uh, this opportunity to get content in the hands of, uh, of a lot of folks uh, starting the Horizon League network a few years ago. Uh, and I think it really spoke during the transition and why the Horizon League was so appealing to Oakland University because, uh, you know, at one level, and I'm, I'm sure the thought process was that this was an organization that could really enhance because they are kind of uh, uh, trendsetters in terms of this content delivery mechanism. And then to be able to take what was established and enhance it with ESPN3 and linear ESPN uh, the way that the Horizon League has done uh, is, is fantastic and certainly now that uh, we have the capabilities and technology and a great facility to do this with I think that combination along with a great program and a, a very visible and, and a nice coach uh, uh, <laughs> really really does wonders in terms of uh, television and, and visibility and those kind of things. Well Jeff I know that everybody is excited we're a couple months out right now from the actual ball going in the air but I know all the fans wish we could start today, right now, and it certainly will be exciting. Unprecedented time here for Oakland. 
national TV exposure all season long. We can't wait to get it going. Well, yeah, and, and based off of the Spain experience, uh, you know, Coach Campy and, and the rest of the staff, uh, you know, have really done uh, great work with, with bringing quality individuals into the program, and I can't stress that enough. I'm really proud of our student athletes, how they represented themselves, and that is a testament to the coaching staff. And, um, you know, I, I'm excited based off of the limited uh, uh, play that I saw over across the pond, but uh, I think we're in for a real treat this year. And uh, again, we're asking for all of the Oakland Golden Grizzly Nation to rise up and aspire to be something tremendous, uh, especially with our national television opportunities. Thank you very much for the time, Jeff. Appreciate it. You got it.